Well, I mean, I think it's an important place for me to be. You know, I think we need to grow our party where we're strong. And we need to grow where we're weak. And that means that, you know, we have to be here at Red State talking to conservatives across the country about what the RNC actually does and what we don't do. And I think there's a lot of misperception out there as far as what a national party committee is supposed to do and there's so many committees and so many letters out there it's hard to keep them straight but it's good for me to be here and I'm happy for the invitation it's a good opportunity yeah I mean I, I think the things we're doing at the RNC is what a national party ought to do which is put on the field a four-year ground operation in the presidential states which we're doing now and we're paying for essentially from the national level the entire field operation in Senate the targeted governor's races and house races. I mean, that money comes from the RNC. I and mean, this is something that we haven't been doing in a lot of years. I mean, when I tell people what the RNC does, 90% of our job, it may not be the most exciting thing in the world, but the mechanics are important. I've got to get this party uh, you know, focused and, and totally saturated in the mechanics of running a national party. I think for sure. I mean, what they did is they hired 10 people every 10 blocks four years before 2012 um, all over the country. And, and they had a list of 800 names each that they were going to talk to, and they went and talked to people. I mean, what were we doing? I mean, we were a national party that was $26 million in debt, had about 80 employees 18 months before 2012. Barack Obama had 800 people in Florida alone. I mean, it, it really is stark as far as how far behind we became on the ground and I think the difference now is we sort of flip that and I think we're sort of surpassed the DNC and uh, but look we're a good midterm party we've got to figure out how to be a good presidential party too yeah I mean this is the first time you have the national party taking some control over the debate process and people have a hard time with that they say wait a minute why is the national party trying to control this this is about control it's about who do you want to control the nomination process you can have the media control it or you can have the party try to control it. We can't have a 23 debate circus with Chris Matthews, you know, deposing our candidates. It's really stupid, and it's about time we've took control of the process. So we'll have about eight or nine debates, and we'll help pick the moderators, not the other way around. I'm going to talk about what it is that the RNC has to do in order to be a good partner with everybody here at Red State. Everyone here at Red State should want to have a national party that has its act together in regard to the things that we have to do. And it's some of it's the boring stuff, the ground game, the data, and getting a hold of this ridiculous primary process. That's what we do. And that's what I want to explain to everyone here today.